Hello, hello, you sexy bastards. How y'all doing? So yesterday, uh, people on the Discord suggestion page suggested this thing. It's supposed to be a, an amusement park that went bonkers. It went off the rails. Okay, because rails and amusement parks, you go down. <laughs> yep. Um, this is a video by Def uh, Defunctland. Defunctland, the history of Action Park. Let's check it out. I don't know why I did again. that. I'm Fantastic. sorry. Anna Gilligan is there this morning. Hello, Anna. Hi, guys. Yeah, the I think you're seeing this? some guys jump off the Tarzan jump here at Action Park. It's been closed since 1996. They reopened it on June 14th. Oh, that's when I was born. I'm here with the owner, Andrew Mulhaville. He's also the son of the man who founded it. Thanks for being here. It's great to be here. Thanks for coming Ooh. out. What a day we have. It's beautiful here at Action Park. So I got to ask you, because Action Park got a bit of a reputation. Oi, 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 oi. Stop. Okay, I. Action Park got a bit of a reputation. I didn't. I wasn't. I wasn't prepared. Thirty-five horror stories that prove the Action Park was the most dangerous park ever. Action Park, the shocking truth of the America's most dangerous theme park, a place where minors could drink alcohol freely and people of any age could be seriously hurt. Bro, sounds like a party. Cocaine? The theme park, commonly referred to as Class Action Park, was doomed to fail even though it was beloved by at least as many people as it was despised by a popular theme park in Vernon, New Jersey. Action Park was shut down because of too much action or at least action that was far too extreme. The shutdown was to relieve some of and dismay of many. The most infamous water slide of all time. Uh, 10 reasons why Action Dangerous Park ever. Okay. Damn. Dangerous for us. Um, some people got injured. Action park injuries up to up in '96. Charged with negligence. Man drowns in a pool. That was 30 years ago. The world has changed. Swimming I pool mean, then then swim. The park, he was the guy inventing the rides and bringing inventors in. Now it's highly regulated. Everything's engineered. I love Action Park because it's so beautiful. Oh. Defunct land. Defunct land. Action park. Suggested by uh, the people. That's a lot of people. Created by Kevin Perhuser. Perhuser. Per the year is 1976. Okay. Gene Mulvihill, the head of entertainment company Great American Recreation, has added a new attraction to Vernon, New Jersey's Vernon Valley Ski Resort. Two brand new alpine slides were installed to keep business alpine up in the slides. off season. An alpine slide is a one-person cart ride, in which the rider rides down a hill in a smooth track. The rider has a brake lever in between their legs, giving them complete control of their speed. The attraction had become popular for ski resorts in the late 70s, and Vernon Valley Ski Resort's Alpine Slide was advertised as an attraction for all ages, claiming, we've had grandfathers and we've had kids of kindergarten age coming down our runs alone. I also have a picture showing a mother controlling the sled with an infant in her arms. Aww. It's that easy. After the success of the slide, uh -huh. Mulva Hill went forward with his... Listen, it might be that easy, but it, as humanity has proven before, and it, as it will prove in the future, nothing is safe enough for us not to fuck ourselves up. ...plans to expand the ski resort into a water park during the off-season. So added two water slides and a racetrack. And more slides, a softball field, a tennis court, and a swimming pool were added shortly thereafter. The Vernon Valley Summer Park was rebranded to Action Park, a Action thrilling park. amusement park where you control the action. More slides and rides were added, and they began their big marketing push to draw audiences into their new water park. Just go to Action Park, there's no other park like it. When it's hot out, this is a great place to spend the day with your family. Mm -hmm. Tell the big things for little kids to do. I love Action Park because it's so beautiful. It's like coming to Broadway, it's wonderful. Race like a pro, it's great. These are the most amazing rides in the world. I love it here. There's nothing in the world like Action Park. The park was revolutionary. Amazing. Not only was it one of the first water parks of its kind in the United States, but it also marketed itself as the biggest. It was eventually home to 75 rides, 40 of which were water slides. Action Park was split into three themed lands. The Gladiators. The first water World. Motor World consisted of three types of attractions, land, water, and air rides. On land was the popular battle action tanks. For an additional fee, guests could ride inside tanks equipped with tennis ball cannons. 
The goal was to shoot the other tanks in the caged area on one of their targets, disabling their cannons for 15 seconds. Uh. Those that chose to ride the tanks were allotted 5 minutes to do so, and those that did not want to ride could pay to use a stationary cannon from the outside. Maintenance employees attempting to fix broken down tanks would be subject to fire from the rowdy guests, making the attraction a nightmare to work at. The other two land-based Motor World attractions were the Lola cars and the Super <laughs> Go-Karts, both of which were kart race attractions. Oh, the God. Super Go-Karts were driven on a small loop. The carts themselves were designed to max out at 20 miles per hour, but the employees found that sticking a tennis ball in the governor device allowed the cart to go as fast as possible, with the new maximum speed being around 50 miles an hour. Head-on collisions frequently sent Jesus. guests to the hospital, and the fumes from the engines fast. overwhelmed riders at times. The Lolo cars were mini open cockpit race cars driven on Cock. a longer track and they cost an additional charge to ride. Their maximum speed could also be tampered with by park employees. These were also used after hours by the workers, sometimes being taken off the track and driven on the nearby highway. There were two water rides in Motor World. The super speedboats were driven in a small circle around an island in a pond, a pond that also had a large population of snakes in it. The guests would often attempt to bump nearby boats, as if they were on Motor World's other water Jesus attraction, Christ. bumper boats. These were boats placed in a small pool and were designed to withstand guests crashing in. Bro, let's be honest. If I'm on a fucking amusement park, I am there to amuse myself. Yo, I am riding a boat. You, you boat push boat my boat. I, I gotta fuck you up after that shit. Listen, we're we're going into the UFC, brother. That is fucked up. Into one another. These were known to leak gasoline, which once required a guest to be examined after too much fuel leaked on their skin. The boats were also incredibly small, and riders with long legs had to position their feet off the side of the boat to fit. Oh. This led to injuries and bone fractures after collisions. Oh. Finally, Motor World had two airbase attractions. One was Space yeah. Shot, which was a typical drop tower ride and was one of the safest rides at the park, given it was only open for... Safe is a relative term in which the case meaning not immediately life threatening. Action okay. Park's last operating year. The second air ride was another upcharge attraction, Slingshot, which was also fairly safe. This ride was a common amusement park and carnival ride, yeah, in which guests were shot up guy. on two bungee cords and flipped upside down as they flew through the air. There's no doubt that Motor World had its dangerous attractions, but this is just the beginning of what Action Park has in store. Another section of the park- Action Park! The fun of a lifetime! Cause it's gonna be the last thing you do. Park was... Insane ad! <laughs> Many non-water-based attractions were located in their own section of the park, sometimes labeled the Alpine Slides. Burgers. These included the aforementioned Alpine Slides, as well as a bungee that jump titled the Snapple Snap Up Whipper Snapper Ride. Originally having two jump stations and then later four, guests could jump off the tower for an additional fee. A skate park also had a short run at Action Park. Uh -oh. It was poorly designed, as it was surrounded by concrete oh, and this had not uneven it. edges, which okay. led to many injuries during its existence. Interestingly, Action Park also had an attraction entitled the Action Park Gladiator Challenge, partially based off of the popular American Gladiators TV show. This included obstacle courses and jousting matches against the Action Park Gladiators. Finally, Action Park had its own monorail called the Transmobile. Fuck. This went to the Ski Lodge, the Alpine Center, and to Motor World. So far, Action Park has proved to be dangerous, but where are the absolutely terrifying rides? Where are the rides that are so insane that their mere existence yeah. is unbelievable? Moreover, where are the water slides? Where are the deaths? Where are the, 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 the suffering? This section put the action in Action Park. Waterworld had it all. It was home to the tidal wave pool, a 100 feet by 200 feet pool that could hold anywhere between 500 and 1,000 people. Oof. The pool's floor was slanted, and the further a guest went in it, Bro, that's a lot of piss in one place. the deeper it got. Waves went 20 minutes on, 10 minutes off, and they could reach a height of over 3 feet. This was challenging for swimmers of all skill levels, as the pool was hard to read and the fresh water was more difficult to swim in than salt water. A dozen lifeguards were on duty at the pool, and they would have to save around 30 people on a busy day. The Tarzan Jeez. Swing was a heavily advertised attraction in which guests would swing on a 20-foot cable over a pool. This spring-fed pool was so cool that lifeguards would have to rescue guests that could not swim after the shock of the cold water. This was also wow. a popular attraction for men to pull down their pants or women to pull up their tops for the line of people to see. The appropriately named Aqua Scoot gave guests a sled, with which they would slide down an assembly line style roller coaster hurtling them toward a shallow pool that they would skip across. If the guest was not in an ideal position, it would get caught under the water, sending the rider crashing forward. There were originally a pair of these slides, each 30 feet long, but a third slide was eventually huh. added. The diving cliffs had two jumping bases, one 23 feet and the other 18 feet tall, with the pool below being 16 feet. The pool was also for non-jumpers, some of which were unaware of the cliffs which resulted in collisions. There was only one lifeguard on duty, who had to work extra hard to make sure that no one was at the Bruh. bottom of the pool. Listen, the super usually when you go to 
get the job as a lifeguard, your your objective is I'm not gonna do shit all day. What is this? This makes it seem like a very hard to do job. 30 people a day, well, that's a lot of people, bro. Speed water slides, also known as Geronimo Falls, were a pair Geronimo of high speed vertical Falls. water slides. One of them was steeper than the other, and both were dangerous. Near these was the safer Kamikaze, which was a more traditional tube slide. The kayak experience was pretty self explanatory and that used underwater like... fans to simulate water rapids. This was dangerous, but that goes without saying at this point. A similar ride, the Roaring Rapids, oh, allowed oh. guests to ride in a one or yeah. two person raft down a similar river. The Surf Hill had riders slide down a multi laned, multi hill slide on a mat. Riders could easily cross over to the adjacent lanes and cause collisions. And the Seventh Hill, nicknamed the Backbreaker, had an additional hump that would send riders flying. Result the Backbreaker had a hump. Who would go on a ride called the Backbreaker? Holding an injury. The Colorado River ride was another raft ride, this time allowing up to four people, and it went through the wooded area of the park. At one point, the riders would come to a fork in the river and had to choose between two paths. The first path took guests under a waterfall and a series of tunnels. The second path included a waterfall and another fork, with one path being steeper than the other. The ride also included a foot-tall jump that would allow riders and their raft a short airtime. The Aerodonium was a skydiving simulator that caused injuries when guests would try to stop their falls with their arms. Waterworld also had a variety of other typical water slides and pools that were less notable, but there is one in particular that has yet to be mentioned. The fuck is this, this is the attraction that made Action Park the most infamous, the Cannonball Loop. A tubed water slide with a vertical loop, similar to that of a roller coaster. It was okay. rumored that during the testing of the attraction, Mulvihill offered $100 to employees who were willing to try it. Test dummies apparently came out of the loop without their heads. When it was open, guests would be weighed, hosed down. So your idea is, eh, hey, fuck it, we have employees, why, why destroy the test dummies when we can destroy the human dummies? Shit, yeah, I like this government. ...and given a set of instructions company. to decrease the possibility of injury. A hatch was added to the top of the loop to assist stuck riders that could not make it all the way through the slide. Uh, Many guests that boys. completed the loop would come out at the bottom, suffering from bloody noses or other injuries, either from hitting the top of the loop or the impact on the way down. The cannonball loop was indicative of a larger issue with Action Park, as many of the other attractions were poorly crafted by designers that were less than engineers, and most were designed <laughs> to minimize cost rather than maximize safety. The rides became even more dangerous when paired with the fact that the park sold alcohol at many of the convenience stands, often to minors. There was even a microbrewery near Motorworld. Micro many brewery. of the guests visiting the inexpensive park came from low-income areas and did not have the necessary swimming skills to navigate some of the attractions and pools. Action Park also heavily marketed to Spanish populations, but there were no translations or translators for the guests when they visited, Polish so explaining population? safety instructions was virtually impossible. You already know that Action Park has the most innovative and exciting rides. The Alpine Slide, Grand Prix race cars, and spectacular water rides. But Action Park means more than just great rides. It means super live shows, fantastic summer festivals, and scrumptious food and drink, including an authentic German brewery. Come to Action Park, because the rides aren't the only thing that's great. Labor Day Polish Festival, September 6th and 7th. Polish Festival. The majority of those employees were teenagers and were not equipped to handle the rowdy guests of the park. So on any given day, you could have an overcrowded water park filled with drunk teenagers that couldn't swim, riding shoddily built attractions supervised by teenagers that may or may not be able to communicate with them. It is yeah. no wonder what happened next. What happened? Oh, damn. I was... On July 8, 1980, a male employee was riding the Alpine Slide when his cart went off the track. He hit his head on a rock during the crash, killing him. He was only 19. Two oh. years later, on July 24th, 1982, a 15-year-old guest was overcome by the waves of the tidal 15. wave pool and drowned. Damn. On August 1st, a mere week later, a 27-year-old guest was riding the kayak experience when he was trying to Wait. enter his kayak. Wait, what you mean a week later? A person died and these motherfuckers didn't even close? Damn. After falling out. When doing this, he made contact with the live wiring that powered the underwater fans. Oh, the electrocution oh. sent him into cardiac arrest, and he passed after being rushed to the hospital. Two oh. years later, in 1984, a guest died on the Tarzan swing after a heart attack, supposedly due to the unexpected shock from the cold water. That ah. same year, on August 27th, a 20-year-old drowned in the tidal wave pool, and on July 19th, 1987, another guest drowned there, giving it the nickname the Grave Pool. These deaths are tragic, and often overshadowed by the, the lunacy and legacy of Action Park. 
Interestingly Vegas. enough, Action Park was able to avoid many lawsuits How? these deaths and many other injuries, due in part to its reputation and also the lax regulations New Jersey had for amusement and water what parks. Can you do, Great American brother? Recreation was even able to expand the Action Park brand to other parts of the country, opening Pocono Action Park in Tannersville, Pennsylvania in 1980 and Action Mountain in Pine Hill, New Jersey in 1984. Get what? Get what? Get that! <laughs> Action Mountain, feel the thrill as you zoom through the black hole. Spin and splash on our bumper boats. While the kids play in our fun-filled kitty area, cool off in our huge swimming pool. Or True. Race Come to Action Park, you have a child, then you don't, cause it's dead. Action Park, baby. Around the Grand Prix track. Get that! It's awesome. Sometimes you go Park down, but don't go attractions up. Action Park, and was closed in 1991. Action, Action Mountain ran into some financial difficulties with the IRS and the town it was located in, and was closed in 1986. So why did the original Action Park close? While Action Park and Mulva Hill were able to avoid lawsuits with many of the accidents and deaths, the two deaths in 1984 stemmed cases that rightfully plagued the park with a variety of legal problems. Mulva Hill eventually pled guilty to five charges of insurance fraud. He insurance and his associates fraud? claimed that the park saw over 1 million guests a year, and therefore the death toll was comparatively low. The local ER, on the other hand, said that they would have to treat 5 to 10 guests on some days. In response Bruh. to the high amount of guests visiting the hospital, Action Park bought Vernon, New Jersey, new ambulances. Despite all of these issues, the death... <laughs> How is your action park so fucked up you gotta buy the fucking hospital and buy ambulances so they can treat the amount of people you fuck up daily? downfall of Action Park wouldn't come until 1996, and it was actually due to Great American Recreation's financial issues and not the park itself. Uh, on September 2nd, 1996, insane. Action Park ended its final season, still with the hope that it would reopen the next year. However, Great American Recreation's bankruptcy made it impossible for Action Park to continue operations, so it didn't reopen. After this, the ski resort and Action Park were handed from investor to investor, undergoing renovations for two years Mountain before Creek. reopening in 1998 as Mountain Creek. Safety was a priority under this management, and a valiant effort was put forth to distance Mountain Creek from Action Park's reputation. However, in 2010, Mountain Creek underwent a bankruptcy of its own, oh. and the water park and ski resort- I thought were I was gonna say, well, they, they, they killed like 15 people a year. So. Sold to the Mulvihill family. Two years after this, in 2012, Eugene Mulvihill passed away, and his son Andrew Mulvihill took over ownership of the park. Two years later, in 2014, oh Mountain Creek was rebranded back to Action Park. The park reopened and? many of its classic attractions, and started construction on new, terrifying ones. The Sky Caliber was another attempt at a 360-degree vertically looping water slide, although it used technology to enhance safety. From my knowledge, it is yet to open at the park, and there's almost no information on its status. The new Action Park tried to use nostalgia to draw guests back for two years, before in 2016, it was renamed back to... Oh, Mountain. it tried to use nostalgia. Ah, remember when your uh, family member died drowning in our pool? Come and join us! You can join him in that! Mountain Creek, in order to once again get away from the negative connotation of Action Park. Early this year, it was announced that Johnny Knoxville would be producing, writing, and starring oh, in a God. film inspired by Action Park, but oh, it was not God. shot on location. Death is heartbreaking, especially in environments designed for happiness and joy. Despite six people losing their lives there, Action Park is not remembered for its death toll. It is remembered for and by the kids that grew up with it and survived it. It is seen as a place where the quote-unquote popular and brave teens hung out. The fact that it was referred to as Traction Park or Class Action Park doesn't matter, because its inherent danger is more of a fond memory to the majority of its visitors. The burns, the bruises, and the fractured tibias were a rite of passage for its former guests. You think you're cool because- <laughs> Getting so much brain damage, you actually enjoy the more brain damage you get. I love it. Because you survived a tame roller coaster at Disney in California or at Universal in Florida? Well, welcome to Vernon, New Jersey. Were you able to survive Action Park? <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, it's over. Fun. Nice job. Wait, she's gonna go swim and get a microphone. Hey. She'll give us her. Oh, look at her. It's like out of a movie. This is good. Where is she? What movies are you watching, second. bro? We lost what Anna. happened to her? Greg, you need to go rescue go. Anna. Let's see. Just take a 
Indeed. Yay! First of all, starting on Saturday. Nice bathing suit. They're open from 10:30 to 7. Greg. Chill the fuck out, Adam, Greg. You look great, and you Greg, this ain't that type of movie, Greg. Chill out, horn dog. Handle that beautifully. I'm just trying to keep Greg in check. Yes. Why are you so out of breath? <laughs> ah. Bye, guys. I'm what? gonna go put some clothes on. Hold on a second. No, 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 take so them fast, off. Adam, let's, uh, <laughs> let's see. Greg. Uh, Anna, let's see. This is in uh, New Jersey, right? <laughs> Greg. Be nice. Oh, I just want to talk and to her stop, a little while. Stop oh, milking oh, this shot. Uh, I just uh, wonder. He wants uh, to milk Anna, her, not the shot. To, to get undressed? To dry. Yeah, well, we saw that. <laughs> how long is the trip? Oh, wait a second. Wait, uh, I think that's smart. The, 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 Anna, uh, go dry off. We'll see you in a little bit. What is wrong with you? Very good question. Thank you, Anna. Hey, I guess we're done. Don't be so. He didn't even come, me. cause he was done. Bars. The history of earthquake, the big one, disaster, history of Kedar. All right, all right. Well, that was the defunct land, the history of an action park. You wanna die, you go there. Are they still working? I have no idea. This is a video from 2017, so uh, they they might be news. Wait, is. The history of the War Six Flag. Oh no, that's something else. Uh, has anyone that watched this video ever gone to a dead park? If so, please tell me what your experience was. I mean, did you survive? Obviously, since you're writing a comment right now, you survived. Anyway, I'll be streaming the forest later on today on Twitch and on YouTube. So join me for that if you guys want to. Quick thank you to the YouTube members and Patreons. Thank you all for the support. I love you. Uh, and yeah, and I'll leave you out with that. Hope you all enjoyed this video and have a nice day. Bye-bye.